Yo, what's up, guys? Alex Baker for Stochastic here, coming at you with FanDuel lineups today. And, uh, yeah, the pretty interesting slate, week 13. Um, it's a good one to get contrarian because there's no real obvious, like, smash value plays like we've been seeing. So I'm liking it. Got the lineup generated up here. I've been finding it really easy to build awesome lineups. Like, uh, so I used to do like two lineups or three lineups in this video, but I've been, it's like five and 10 minutes now. So it makes it a lot easier um, to build really good lineups. And generally, uh, two man stacks plus run back is where I would start in NFL. That's just your safest bet. Um, it's kind of like uh, our sim show, it's very highly. Um, returning on your your buy-ins compared to the other ones and there's just a lot more people doing it two man once uh no stack uh no run back is pretty good um as well but it's a little bit trickier because you don't want to box yourself out of a great lineup all right so uh mike white i like this already <laughs> he cooked ass last week um and we got pacheco as kind of a contrarian option we got garrett wilson and conklin and then running it back with Justin Jefferson. I think already this is a, a winner here. So I like this. Christian McCaffrey. I think he could get a little bit more work with Jordan Mason as the backup instead of Eli Mitchell. So like that. In addition, Raiders defense, they're going up against uh, the Chargers, I believe. So uh, Chargers are going to be kind of popular. Um, so I like that. All right. All right. I'm looking. Okay, Chargers, 5% on. So, kind of mid. I'll save this one. Derek Carr, Adams, Hollins, Everett, run back. This is, um, I think that that's pretty decent. Um, this one is a higher projected. Pretty chalky, though. So, uh, let's discard and keep going. Jared Goff, Raymond Brown, St. Brown, and then running it back with Christian Kirk. I, I feel like everyone's going to try to do this this week. Maybe not with Raymond, but the general principle is going to be the same. So I'm going to discard that. Um, Deshaun Watson, he's coming back this week. I don't think that's going to be a big benefit for Donovan Peoples-Jones, Cooper, and with Njoku out, Harrison Bryant stands out as a good play. Running it back with Nico Collins, I think this is a very solid lineup and we got montgomery and jacobs deontay johnson's kind of a sleeper so i think versus uh, atlanta uh that one could be a sneaky offensive game so i, I kind of like this let's save it because there's only two days left to take advantage of the no-brainer deal on mgm so the way it works you have to deposit 10 bucks you have to be a new member of mgm and uh Deposit 10 bucks, you bet it on a money line uh, for World Cup. And this is why it ends in two days, is because it's a World Cup specific promo. So uh, make sure to do it now. Uh, bet that uh, money line on World Cup, you get 200 bucks. So it's basically 200 free bucks as long as you follow the, the terms here. Uh, it's valid in every state except New York, Pennsylvania, and Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi and Ontario as well. So make sure to take advantage of this while you can because uh, it's free 200 bucks. They only offer this like every once in a while now. So if you haven't already signed up, this is your best chance. All right. We got a picket stack with Sims. So I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I think this is, uh, it projects pretty decent, but you got like a dead zone in your lineup. So that uh that one stuck through here this is much better we got pickens and firemuth the overall projection is a little bit lower but like the ownership on this is so freaking low still i feel like we can make a pittsburgh stack and get contrarian but not have a projection this low i probably want to stay 110 and plus all right jacksonville we got kirk ingram running back with raymond uh, it's going to be hard to run it back because St. Brown is going to be the obvious option, but they don't have any other great fantasy players. So this is a Noah Gray kind of thing. Uh, or Noah Gray is kind of the same thing where I, I don't want to play Noah Gray. So I can't discard that. Lawrence, Say Jones, Ingram. 
And then running it back with Amon Ross St. Brown. A, a very solid lineup. We got 120 projection, but super chalky. So uh, this one, 90% ownership. Kind of Zay Jones, Engram, and Raymond. Oh, I don't know if I, I probably want to say Brown, even though it's chalky. I'm kind of talking me out, myself off a of, lot of lineups here. But all right, Justin Watson. He's been playing a lot more than expected. So I kind of like that, 4,900. And Kelsey. Um, and then we're running it back with Hurst. Double tight end. Uh, I feel pretty mad about that. Our right, Watson, Peoples Jones. Bryant, that's very solid. Nico Collins run back. Good uh, projection, so I'm going to save that. I think I already saved a Watson lineup, so I'll just pick the two, one of the two I like the best. All right, Holmes, uh, MVS, Kelsey running back with Hurst. Probably want to run it back with a wide receiver, not a double tight end. All right, Goff, Shark, Brown, St. Brown, Jones. I don't really like Shark this week, so it's taking me a little bit more time to, to make the lineups because uh, I'm being pretty picky here. That's my fault. All right, Kirk, Engram, St. Brown. This is probably how I'd build my Jacksonville stack, as chalky as this is, so I do like this. I'll just save it um, because I do want like some Jacksonville stacks, but it's hard to make them without getting pretty chalky. All right, Kyle Allen. That's not a name I've been seeing much, but... We got a good projection. Pierce Cooks running it back with Peoples Jones. So this is this one's all about just kind of an outlier passing day for Houston. So I, I think it's um, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And in a large field GPP, we gotta take some shots on guys like Kyle and stuff like this. And then the rest of our lineup is super solid. Now let me build one more. Okay, this is. A Jacksonville one that's a little bit less chalky. So we got Kirk and Groom. St. Brown is the run back. And then um, Sutton's low owned. We got um, the Dolphins defense versus 49ers that's low owned. So I think this is just kind of uh, contrarian enough. The ownership's 10% less than the other Lawrence lineup. 4% or four, 4 fantasy points fewer. That's not great, but. I think I, I just didn't want to get too chalky. So kind of finding lineups in this 112 to 116 fantasy point range are, are kind of the sweet spot this week and oh, sub 100% ownership. So I hope this uh, helps you guys uh, figure out some lineups for this week. We do have a three-day free trial on these the suite of tools like the top stacks, boom bust, and the lineup generator. So that'll take you all the way through Monday night slate if you're not already a Stochastic member. Make sure to take advantage of that. Build some lineups. When you do, you're going to have some good sweats. So that's what really what we're here for is help you win more money and get put yourself in the position to, to be successful. So sign up for a three-day free trial. And uh, yeah, good luck this week. All right, thanks, guys.